What's going on guys? Me, Baby here back for another shave and this is it's Sunday already. It's the last day of Moon Soap Sweeps. So I wanted to get in here on a Sunday. It's hot as the devil's armpit. No, as the devil's ass crack. It's hot as the devil's ass crack. Forgive me. Um, so eloquently put. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Holy oh, hell. Oh. So it is hot, like I said. So we brought the fan in here today. Rocio's in here. <laughs> um, you know, Zach and Melody requested that Rocio be in, in one of these videos because they enjoy her um, her quips. Her, our banter? Our banter, her her, her snazzy little uh, <laughs> remarks. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. And I appreciate you wanting me to be in your video. God, I'm you look enough. so tiny. I look bigger now. Oh. Start wearing heels. And this is going to be the last <laughs> appearance of little Peter. What is that, Peter? Yeah, uh, honestly, Peter, I'm not going to miss you. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. You've been very demanding. Usually, Peter is very demanding. He is very so. demanding. So he's going to be off to either, I think it is going to be the Chris Bailey, so good luck, Chris, or the Stallion. I'm not sure who. Um, gonna, well, we'll You're see. You're going to miss us. You're gonna miss us because I don't think it gets any better from this point on. <laughs> no, uh, the, so the, the Little Peter World Tour will continue after this week. So that's <laughs> it. Say goodbye, Little Peter. It's your last showing. Um, you're gonna be uh, packed away this week. So everybody say bye to Little Peter. Good. You know, bye. bye, Little Peter. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs> well, Jeez. what the hell was we doing? Them? So, wow. so here we are for the last day of Moon Soaps Week. I usually record the day before and then edit and post the next day. Today we're gonna do it. Get it done, and then I'm gonna go straight to the room to upload this bitch. So, today, the final soap that I'm gonna be using for this week is this little itty baby one. It's tiny. Havana, this is the sample. So, is that in honor also of Tiny Me and Tiny Peter? Yes, because little Rocio and little Peter are in Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Since one. little Peter and little Rocio are in the video today, yes. we got. The little shave soap so um reason i haven't bought havana yet is because often with shave soaps that are primarily tobacco scented i get a little bit of tingling so i got the sample from the last thing that i got from zach and melody which i believe is amaretto they included that in there just to see hopefully i don't have a reaction if i don't have a reaction then i'll be getting a full tub so we shall see i got the sample loaded up on ice in my diego thermal scuttles bowl what kind of reaction do you get i uh, like a, a slight burning or irritation yeah so mm -hmm. it happened with that pipe dreams from hub city um and i get that from a couple other tobacco based soaps i don't know why well, just so you like tobacco yes i do really like the tobacco scented soap so it's a little bit of a bummer and i got the vikings soaps brush with the hair force one knot let's see how this goes so babe do you have any updates for the for the fine folks on youtube land uh what kind of updates i don't know you you always got some kind of story to tell Storyteller, huh? Yep. Uh, now, same old, same old. I mean, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Busy bee. Work is busy. Uh, thank God. Construction never ends, so that's a good thing. Um, busy with uh, Daisy's wedding. You guys remember, if you guys watched the last video she was in, we touched on the wedding stuff a little bit. It's a month away, a little bit over a month on the 19th. So, uh, busy doing that. Busy trying to get something very... Something super small, but make it, you know, elegant and, you know, once, nice in, a, and once in a lifetime. Well, or, or no, <laughs> cross our Well, I guess there's a 50% chance that there's not the first, uh, it's not going to be the last time. Yeah, so, hopefully, the only hopefully it is, but knowing our kid, it probably won't, you're right. She's very she's, disagreeable. Yeah, some of y'all have met her, some, some of you haven't, she's very disagreeable. <laughs> Let's put it this way, Daisy is a very special individual, so... Um, yeah, and then just uh, busy trying to make some uh, some money for this wedding, so I do some side business stuff. So I'm, I'm I've been stressed out, but you know the last couple of weeks have been a little bit better than the last than the, the, the few before that. So. We're on the home stretch. We're on the home stretch, man. So it's it's good. So whatever is it, whatever it is, it's going to be. Put it that way. So, but besides that, no, everything else is good, guys. Same old, same old. So I loaded nice and heavy. I took a lot longer to load this time because the last time I did a sample in the bowl, which was a first line shave, it just I ended up doing a shitty job loading it. So I think this time I loaded appropriately. I don't know, why, why do we have the thing spinning? We probably should have just kept it in oh. one spot. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Whew, sweating, just sweating. Well, I had it in two, but David being the, 
annoying because he's like, oh, it's so loud. You can hear it in the background. Blah, blah, blah. So it's at one as opposed to two. That's exactly how David sounds too. Well, she has it fucking rotating as if the room's big. So most of the time it's not pointing at either one of us. <laughs> Isn't it as I'm, going, I'm moving towards it? She has to sway back and forth to get it. It was just a, kind of a, it was kind of a silly concept to, to begin with. So yeah, now it's there. Is it hitting you now? Yeah, now I'm getting it now. Now it feels damn good. good. Who needs an AC? I got. I don't this think it feels damn good, but David's just making a trying to make it, but trying to make the best of it. Nah, dude, it's better than it was. Trust me, a whole lot better. Yeah, dude, because um, back to back days of 100 degrees, we're gonna be in a heat wave, so it's, it looks like it's going to be uh, consistently around that. 98 100 to 100 plus for the next week or so um well it always says 95 this is 95 so when it says 95 you know it's going to be 105. So, i don't know about 100 in fact we don't live in palm springs or nothing no it's never it's never what it says it's always higher you know that so. yeah it's always a bit higher um so i'm thinking i'm going to move into my uh my office this week because okay. i have ac there so I'll be, I'm going to take a sleeping bag, okay? I get to go into work tomorrow. They said they actually got something for me to do. Oh. Who knows what it is? Um, the drop is pretty cool, isn't it, in the, in the gym? Well, in, in, because especially nobody's coming in, the doors stay closed, and it's just a cement facility. It's like yeah, a jail, so it stays super, cold. Super cool. So I'm hoping that whatever project they have for me to do, I get to be in an air-conditioned room. Even if I'm not in my own office, even if I'm in one of the classrooms that has AC, I can live with that. Um, but who knows? Who who really knows? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, dude. Hey, so far so good. I feel no burning. Yep. Um, the tingling usually comes though sometime during the shave. So we'll see. Very nice. Very very nice. I love the scent. The scent is fantastic. And again, I love tobacco scents. I just struggle with them when they are the the main part of the scent. So we'll see. Today, second use with the Blackland uh, Blackbird Razor that Eriberto Maya sent me. Um, really really loved. This head geometry, the, the the blade feel, the first time around, and um, we'll see how this one goes. Hmm. So, whose idea was it for this whole moon soap thingamajigger? So, moon soap week was brought to you by uh, Ken over at Shave Three Two Six. I think in collaboration with Marion the Barbarian. Okay, I think I've spoken to these people, but I don't know. I don't think you've talked to to Marion before. Okay. You have uh, yelled during one of those calls or live chats while Ken's in the comments, I believe. Yeah, I don't yell. <laughs> you don't yell. You not yell at other people. So if you guys are paying attention at all to the shave and not just uh, to the little woman here, um, had a pretty significant uh, beard so growth going on especially for myself, and it takes it down real well. Very efficient razor. I know it's a trigger word uh, for Ken, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just go with it. It's a tribute word? Trigger. Trigger word. Yeah, Ken, um, he's like the master of overthinking the shave terminology. He's been on this uh, kick for the last month or so of analyzing everything people say about shaves and questioning why we do it, if we should do it, or should we be naming it something else? Jesus, another uh, coronavirus, uh, is it a casualty? Too much time on his hands? No, he's working. He's actually a nurse in the army. Jesus Christ, and why does he have all this time to fucking overanalyze shit like that? I don't know. Maybe he's just a deep thinker. Maybe it takes him 15 minutes to get into the long thought process of the meaning of life. Who knows? But I am a big Ken fan. If you're not following Ken over at Shave326, he says some wild shit. He's funny as hell. Uh, I like his stuff. And it's a real dry humor. He's not like bouncing off the walls and shit. He looks like he's not talking about much of anything. But if you're paying attention, it's funny. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of, I've heard of Ken and his... Uh... Antics? Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I heard of him. There we go. So, excellent first pass. Now, it's going to be the real test to see if this soap gives me any kind of irritation. So we'll see, let me rinse off this. Not fully rinse it off, but a little bit. Wanna use my hair towel? No, why would I need your hair towel? It's cool, it's got a Yoda. Do you wanna show them? R2D2. So this is a piece of fabric, specially for Rocio to wrap her hair in after she showers. Yes, look how cute this is. I don't even, look how cute that is, guys. It's got R2-D2. It's adorable. It's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Because <laughs> I, I have curly hair, so I have to wrap it and put it 
Uh, it used to be having curly hair was the most annoying thing, but just freaking wash it and be done with it, you know? But now, to make it, the curls look right and all this bullshit, I have to buy special curling cream and blow dry it with a diffuser and make sure, oh, it's a bunch of pain in the ass. Now, in my opinion, it looks good no matter what the fuck she does. Oh. I think fine, but... I think it's just annoyed to hear like a hair <laughs> She's just overly critical. <laughs> she is... The can of my household. She overthinks everything. I do. And, um, you know, maybe we should name your own uh, shaving channel Shave 562. Shave 562? Yeah. I don't have a shave channel. I know you don't. I don't have time for a shave channel. Shave channel. I think anybody can have time for what they want to do if it's a priority to them. Maybe um, don't have time. Well, again, I know you're busy with stuff that you prioritize. Wish, it's, it's all I about what I you want to do. I had more time to read. I've, Literally, I think this week, this one time during the week, I <laughs> I sat down on the bed and I think I fell asleep sitting down at one point and you were like, babe, go, go to sleep or go It's right funny down. because then she starts like <laughs> hunching over real slow and it's like, like she's like a melting ice cream. She just, <laughs> she sits up and she'll fall asleep straight, stiff. And then slowly her phone starts to fall. Then her shoulder starts to slump forward. Her head just starts going and she just folds over herself. Dude, it's pretty, it's pretty amusing. Like I watched the whole process unfold. I'm surprised you haven't videotaped it. But yeah, so I wish I could do stuff like Shape Channel. I know I'd have a, I, I know I've had, I would have some supporters, and I know that and I appreciate that. I just, I have the time. Hey, dude. But do you know no, what? No burning. Nice. No burning, so now I can buy the Havana soap. There you go, guys. Perfect. Yeah, this is nice. If I had my own channel, would I have enough supporters? That's another thing. It would hurt my feelings if I didn't. Well, it, it takes some work. So what a lot of people don't quite understand when it comes to the shave channel is even if you have a channel that hits, like boom, you get 5,000 views on it. Mm -hmm. Consistent content is what gets people subscribers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like there's some people like uh, Wesley Allen. Mm -hmm. He had a, a video go viral. Millions of views. Mm -hmm. That's they, the one where he shaved off his beard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, a lot of those um, videos go viral. There's, he's not the first one. He had a big so millions of views, eleven thousand subscribers. So if you would have really, if you would have really rolled the wave and did more consistent content, had more people. He probably could have had 50, 60 thousand subscribers as opposed to the eleven that kind of just jumped on because well, of that one video. What would have been his video. next shave? His armpits. Well, you could still shave his, you see uh, your face. His legs, his Because he's also a funny dude, so he could do a basic shave video. And still be entertaining enough, just not for the whole shock value of shaving the long hair. Yeah, I know Wesley. He has a family too, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, abso absolutely. He doesn't have the time. Ew, is that AJ Burpee? Yes, it was. Ew, gross, AJ. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but AJ just walked past and burped. Nasty and burped. Look. So I am super happy, dude. I love the geometry in this head. Again, I forgot to change out the handle because I don't like the handle. I, I really, really don't. The straight knurling cut just that cuts into the handle. I like really dislike it. Yes, I love head. I mean, I the do. head. <laughs> the head. I love the head. But no, just the knurling sucks, dude. I really dislike the handle. Aesthetically, it looks good. The aesthetics of this handle, it's, a, it's an attractive handle. I just don't like the feel of it. I, I really don't. It doesn't, it adds nothing to, to the shave, really. So the next shave, before I send this back to Eddie Beth, I really gotta change the handle to see just how I feel about the total package of it all, but I love the head geometry on this. I mean, I don't think it's a head, it's a Head. <laughs> Shit, but I'm married though, what do I know about head? Geometry. Definitely not enough, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't stab me with that. Shit, food. There was this old dude on one of the group chats, and I don't know how it got to this discussion. If you uh, in the Lather and Blade uh, Facebook group, we had a group a video group chat. And he's an older cat. Don't even know who he is. But I don't I don't know how the subject. He started talking about head. And he's like, you see this wedding ring? Once you put this on, women forget how to do all that. <laughs> I think it's been. I think he said something about the last time was like in the seventies. So God bless him. <laughs> God bless him. 
That just sounds like he's doing something wrong, boo. Maybe. Maybe. So, hey, third and final pass. Again, still no burning with the with the tobacco scented Havana soap, which is okay. just a beautiful fucking scent. You like it, babe? I didn't even smell it. Oh, yeah. That smells really nice. It's, all their scents are nice. Okay. And, again, eventually they'll probably release something that I don't like because, again, you can't make everybody happy. Um, but, damn, every one of them have hit for me, so that's that's great. That is great. Well. Cool. And I have, it's been years since this head came out, or this razor came out. I don't even know the pricing of it. I would imagine it's probably in the $200. But... <sighs> Are you going to start talking like Darth Vader inside of the... No, I just can't. i got to catch my breath. It's hot in here, dude. Yeah, but I just can't catch my breath. Mm -hmm. So, very enjoyable. And it was said that this is a very um, aggressive head. I don't find it to be overly aggressive. No, again, if you've ever tried the R41, that one feels much more aggressive and just like dangerous. Um, and also the original Paradigm Titanium Razor, those felt much more like, more intimidating to, to use because of the combination of the geometry and the way the blade sit, sat on the face, you know. It had a more aggressive head. Yeah, use its teeth. No one likes that. though, there's an open comb from Carve. Only like $25, I think, to buy it. And the teeth on the open comb look real aggressive. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool looking. So, Rocio um, has some thyroid issues. Mm -hmm. So, if you notice that she like takes those deep breaths, it's because... um. The, th the hyperthyroidism kind of speeds up her, her heart as well, and it kind of gets her out of breath sometimes. So it's a little thing that we've been battling lately. Kind of, it feels like when you walk a flight of stairs, like upward, and then you you know you get to the top and you're like catching your breath, having to me, uh, <laughs> all like I don't even know how many times a day. Yeah, so it's a little rough. A little rough. So, all right, guys, that was the end of pass three. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. We're going to get a good thorough rinse, and then me and Rosil will come back for the final thoughts. All right, and we're back. And, of course, the legendary Miss Print and Towel. <laughs> this works great. Just nice, fluffy, and luxurious. Mm. There you go. A little drying of all that sweat over here. You're sweating like an animal. It's okay, you're glistening, babe. It's not sweat, it's glistening. It's, it's shine. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, so I don't, I lost the little thing of the moon soap thing. Where did you put it? Oh no, I dropped it somewhere. Did Damn you actually it. drop it? Oh, here it is. It was hiding under my bowl. Yeah, so, I think you dropped it. moon soaps. Final, final day of the moon soaps week. Hashtag moon soaps week. Uh, thank you, Ken and Marion. Uh, again, I just, from the get go, I seen the labels. Uh, the label designs from this company, I love them, and I could not understand why people weren't talking about them. What a great week to really try to jumpstart um, with the community really embracing this company because they're supportive. They jump in on the lives, they're commenting on videos, they watch content that's just not centered around themselves, and I really, really appreciate that. It's real easy for an artisan to just say, "I only care about shit that they that." that uh, Involves myself. Yeah, pertains to them. Um, no, they actually seem to be invested in the community. And those are the type of people that I like to fuck with. So, I appreciate you, Zach and Melody. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been very supportive of my channel. Uh, very supportive of Rocio popping in. She's here for you guys. Even though she'd probably much rather be sitting her ass down <laughs> in front of a fan with a cold drink. Watching some TV. But she wanted to show for you guys. Um, because she's seen how, how supportive you guys have been. And um, again, it means the world to, to us. Um, definitely I will be getting Purchasing into this. Soap, so, yes. um, in terms of the Blackland, it is a fantastic razor. I really, really enjoy it. One more use and then it's going to get shipped back to its home, but I'm really enjoying that razor. It's nice. Little Peter. Little Peter will be hitting the road, uh, on the road again, uh, this <laughs> week. So... Hopefully by the end of this upcoming week, you'll be seeing him in his next destination. Hopefully he won't be such a handful like he has been at my home. Um, 
<laughs> there, goes. There, there Peter goes. There, Peter, <laughs> there he goes. Um, as per usual, guys, if you made it to this point of the video, uh, this is Ken's favorite part of the video. Why is that? He just, he will be in the live chat when I do a premiere. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, here it comes. The appreciation. I love this part. The appreciation? Yeah. Because right. I go, if you made it to this point of the video, just know how much I really appreciate you guys. Um, I know it gets a little bit long sometimes to be able to uh, go get through these whole videos. And for those of you guys that ride with me that much to where you get to that point, the uh, much appreciated, much loved you guys. Once again, it is a crazy world, man. Love one another. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we or me will catch you on the next shave. Bye, guys.